everyone, how everyone going? Hope everyone was well. Well what we got going today is I'll just give it a quick thing through the bus, which we all finished. I'll put that back on the top of the head. I've got another screen on there for the reversing camera now. So that one stays on all the time. So I can see it at the back all the time. Which is heaps better. A couple of things I noticed. We did, we did do a trip out to Dubbo. Only for a couple of days. And a few things have to change. One thing I noticed is pull all these seats out again. Well they have to put heat dead now on there. Sound and heat dead now on the floor. The heat come through that floor is... I just can't believe much heat comes up through that floor. I've done notices on the way up there we everyone had shoes on but Faith had no shoes on the way back and she said Dad that floor's hot and then when I started feeling around the floor is hot. And so that has to be done. Uh, in the back here, I like to put these back in the cupboard, a couple of power boards. I put a power board here. I need a power board, that one, there's one down there, but I have to move it up to the cupboard there, higher, so you can get to it. It's too low. And I'm going to put a power board, power point or power board on the back of this post for the fridge. And for Tanya's laptop sits up there when we parked. And she uses it, hooks up the TV with the HDMI cable, so do that. And I'm going to put one here, put a, some sort of power board on the corner here, just to charge our phones and all that stuff. Chuck all these back down in here. I'll just turn these off for a minute while I put these down in here and I'll turn these back on. Yeah, well, put them away and just some power things. Everything else seemed pretty good. It has to go back in the mechanics with it dim and I noticed when we come home there's got a bit of oil leak out of the back oil still now. So now I have to take that in mechanics and get that fixed before we go next time. But everything else seemed pretty good. And we have bought this. Don't know how it's going to go towing behind the van, but that's a dolly trailer. Or gypsy trailer, they call them as well. You park your car up there and hook on the van and it's got straps that goes over the wheels. So see how it goes behind it, it's pretty cheap, even if I don't don't use it I'll still get our money back. I need to replace the lights, that light's a new one so I'll leave that one, I have to get another one for that side, just can't buy tw uh, 24 volt bulbs for them lights anymore. So I have to get new lights put on it, give it a clean up and everything and paint it, and it should be right to go. And we'll, don't know how it's going to go towing it, but we'll give it a go and see what happens. That's all we can do. Uh, I haven't done much more. We've got new tyres on it, which you probably know. But I haven't done much more to the bus. I've got a trip coming up in four weeks, going to Darwin, Darwin for a week fishing. We're flying. Me and, my, um, me and five mates are flying down there. So I probably won't do much to the bus till after the trip's all finished and done. Or oh, might, I don't know. My next job is pull that vent out. There's leaking water in that vent. Pull it out. I've been trying to find how to pull them out, but apparently you just get underneath them thing and they pop out. But then I want to take the bull bar off. Take the ink off the front and all that. And paint the front of it. But the window will have to come out eventually. It won't be coming out till oh, end, of, end of the year sometime. It's the last thing on our list at the moment. No, but it went good down there. Went pretty good. And that's about all I can say on this video. Bed worked out good, so... Oh, another thing. This ramp's going. The ramp works good. And everything. But it's no good for me. Us. There, every time you want to get out when you shut it up at night, you have to climb out through that driver's side. Which is a pain in the ass, so... That ramp's going. We've got a bloke at the moment... Uh, modifying a lifter to go in here, we're going to enclose that ramp there, then my battery will be under there for my solar. So I'll enclose that, and the, the lift will sit on top of here, and it'll just fold out like a normal lifter. When it folds that back in, but instead of having a plate, the plates fold in, so you can walk between it. So if someone's in there, you just open the door up and walk out. 
walk between the lifter. So that's going to be good. That's on the. Hopefully that'll be happening in the next couple of weeks. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one, and I'll see you then.